Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment, where we're talking all things pop culture. Today, I'm reviewing the new movie, Zombieland, Double Tap. Now, does this movie do the original justice, or should this movie be buried in the wasteland for eternity? The movie stars Woody Harrelson as Tallahassee, Jesse Eisenberg as Columbus, Emma Stone as Wichita, Abigail Breslin as Little Rock, and is directed by Ruben Fleischer. Now our four heroes are back from the original movie and just trying to survive the zombie apocalypse day by day. But Little Rock has decided that she wants to go off and venture on her own and that's where our journey begins. Now Emma Stone's character Wichita has decided that she's going to break off on her own as well to go find Little Rock and try to bring her back, much to the chagrin of Columbus. Now it's not long after Wichita takes off that Columbus takes on a new romantic interest who has a very, very unique personality. Her name is Madison, played by Zoe Doach. Now Madison is definitely the oddball in this group and I can honestly see how she can be annoying to a lot of people. I know when she first came on screen I was like okay this girl's pretty damn annoying but you know what? As the movie went on her character made sense and she actually kind of grew on me. Now in this sequel there's just not your ordinary zombies that we saw in the first movie but the zombies have actually begun to evolve. There's zombies that are called bolts that are really fast. There's terminator like zombies that are very hard to kill but then there are some zombies that actually have devolved and they call them homers. While on this wild ride the crew makes a stop in Graceland to have some fun in Elvis's blue suede shoes. We're also introduced to Rosario Dawson's character, the butt-kicking Nevada. While not giving any spoilers away about our final battle or how we're there or why we're there, our heroes open up a huge can of ass whooping on our zombie friends to try to save the day once again. Now when I saw the original Zombieland, I had no expectations going into the movie. There was a lot of zombie fag going on at that time. Whether it was video games or movies, it just seemed to be zombies everywhere. But you know what, when I saw the original Zombieland, I really enjoyed that movie. It was a lot of laughs, and I thought it was pretty fresh and original take on the zombie genre. With that being said, two days before I saw Double Tap, I went back and rewatched Zombieland, and I still thoroughly enjoyed that movie. Now, for our rating of Zombieland Double Tap, I rate my box office movie releases in three categories. Number one, go out and see it now. Number two, wait for streaming. Number three, completely skip it. I'm going to give Zombieland Double Tap a number one. Now, some critics don't seem to like this movie, but you know what? I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Now, there are some plot holes and some forced storylines, but you know what? For 90 minutes, I had a lot of laughs. I was thoroughly entertained and I wasn't bored the entire movie. So I would definitely recommend Zombieland Double Tap if you enjoyed the original. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for this movie review here on Toned In Entertainment. Make sure you subscribe here to the channel for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.